Welcome Regen Ag Nation. Thank you so much for joining us. This is part of our pest series where we're looking at different insects and things that tend to um, cause us damage and, and harm in these cropping systems. Today I want you to join me. Let's walk out in this field and let's see if we can find a few. All right, so we found a few out here already. I want you just to come in nice and tight down here. This is very obvious on camera. You can see these are webworm. Um, we've also identified some other species of worms or caterpillars that will eventually turn into moths later on. Um, and we're gonna grab those, we're gonna look for those and we'll bring them out of the field and we'll show you all the different kinds we found in here. All right, so as you can see, we found a number of these different creatures here. I got them all in the bag but we're gonna go ahead and dump them all out for you so we can identify them a little bit. So let's hone in on them. We've got webworm here. Um, we've got over here, we've got a gray moth, gray moth larvae. Over here, we have on this one, we've got the Bertha armyworm as well. Those guys like to harbor in the soil. And uh, you can see his buddy gray moth larvae is there as well and then these guys right here might have to go to the book to identify them um, looks like they've got a head capsule on them they probably were a lighter shade of green i'm guessing earlier in the season and now their color is darkening um, many of these will go down and they'll overwinter in the soil uh, it's kind of interesting when you see the actual loopers which is oftentimes they'll create like a pupae shell down in the soil and uh, that's how they'll continue their life cycle. So just wanna point this out. I know it's kind of creepy and crawly, but there's a lot of pests that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis in these hops that we gotta kind of protect from. So uh, this is a good representation of that. We've obviously found them all in one field.